The screencast is to show you how to complete the paragraph drafting assignment as part of your culminating activity. Your first step is going to be to open up your outline and your paragraph drafting assignment. You'll probably want to have one in each tab, or you can do a split screen um, to make it easy to copy and paste over. So take a second and open up both of these assignments that can both be found in the Unit 1 Culminating Activity folder. All right, so our first step of this assignment is to transfer each of our big ideas from the outline into the red column. So your big ideas are going to be the things that are next to your capital letters in your outline. So I will go ahead and go introduction, historical context, roll in the text, and conclusion. And I don't have enough section, so I'm just going to leave that blank for now and I'm going to delete it later. So once you've got your big ideas filled in down the side, your next step, step two, is to transfer each of your small ideas from your outline to the blue column. So in my introduction, I have a summary of the text and background on the author and here. Again, I'm gonna skip any lines that I don't need and just move on to the next one. So I've got the Great Depression. And I'm just going to keep filling this in for all of my uh, lowercase letters in my outline. All right, once you have filled out everything from your outline into your paragraph drafting assignment, you can close out of your outline because you won't need that anymore. And our next step is to start um, deleting the rows that we don't need anymore to get them out of our way. So that is very easy to do. You are going to put your cursor in a box of a row that you want to delete, and you are going to either right click or two finger click if you've got just a trackpad and no mouse on that box, and this menu will pop up, and you'll just hit delete row. So I'll go through and do that for any rows that you don't need anymore. And if there are any rows that you needed to add, for example, if you have more than um, four historical context, to add a row, it's the same process. Um, you're going to click in the box where you want the row to be either above or below two finger click and then either insert a row above or insert a row below. So once you have all your big and small ideas filled out and you've deleted your extra columns, the next step is to just start writing your paragraphs. Um, so in this white column is where you will begin writing. So each small idea is going to become at least one complete paragraph. So for summary of the text, I'll have a paragraph summary, then I'll move on to my background. So you're just going to work on a paragraph for each one. And in class, we are going to be revising and making sure that these paragraphs are strong. Um, so you can use the slides from the first paragraph drafting day, um, as well as the second paragraph drafting day to make sure that you've got strong basic paragraphs as well as strong um, complex paragraphs. So these are all in the slides that are available to you within the Schoology folder if you need to refer back to them while you are writing.